Hey Milo. You ready to go? Slept off the good last night. It's time to get moving. I'm driving down an empty freeway No waiting for the light to change I'm seeing the sunrise behind Hello, Miss Milo. We are stopped for the night, aren't we, sweetie? We are in Osceola, Iowa, at a rest area. We are on our way to Minnesota again. This time we're going to St. Cloud. We just had a long time today waiting on the new load. So, we still have six hours to go tomorrow so we sat for four hours waiting on our waiting for them to give us our load today so that didn't go very well but this is the first time really that we've had to use our air conditioner in the new truck during the day it does work but for it to work and actually cool the back or somebody's got it got to wash we have to actually close she doesn't like it we have to close these these curtains. And with that, when we don't close those curtains, and they're real heavy and thick and insulated, and that keeps our our air in the back. It wasn't necessary when it was cold with the heater, but it's going to be necessary with the air conditioner. It was 95 degrees while we were sitting in. Oh my goodness! Are you itching your tail or your foot? What's being itched there? Oh, it was a foot. <laughs> Looked like the end of your tail for a minute. But it was 95 degrees and we sat for four hours, so that's that's going to be necessary. And this goofball, instead of sitting back here with me where it was nice and cool, I left the bottom of the curtain open. It snaps closed, it's got magnet and all that, but I left the very bottom open so she could get to her litter box. What did that goofy kitty do? She laid in the front seat. It was 95 degrees outside. I kept going up there and getting her and bringing her back here to show her it was cool. And she would sit with me for just a couple of minutes. And then the little goofball went back up to the front again.
So I ended up just opening the curtain a little bit and putting pointing a fan up there. So somebody's going to have to learn. Oh my goodness, you're too close. Somebody's going to have to learn that it's back here that's cool when the curtains are closed. And I don't know what I can do about it. I, I can't force her to stay back here. Her litter box is up there, and it's just a curtain. So even if I do close it all the way, she could still get through it if she really needed to. And it was hot up front. Now, I don't think it was hot as it would be, like, in your car with your windows all rolled up, but it was hot. I mean, even with the air conditioner on, it was 73 degrees in the back with the AC running all the time. So I don't know, I don't know how to convince you, Miss Kitty Cat, I don't know how to convince you that you need to stay back here where it's cooler. I assume, I, I assume, look at my feet, that if she gets too hot, she'll come back here. I don't think it's as big of an issue at night because we wouldn't, won't be dealing with the sun too. And during the day, typically, I'm in here with her. Could you try to stay where it's cool? I mean, I think if she was just out, if it was outside hot, that would be different. But everybody knows how dangerous it is in an enclosed vehicle. Yes, we do, Milo. You are going to have to try to stay out of the front of the truck when it's that hot. I may end up just putting a fan up there to circulate air, but this really seems silly. Hey, are you just not going to look at me? Are you embarrassed that you were wanting to lay in the heat and not back here where it was cool? Yeah, you are? What do you want to do, huh? What? She... Okay. Let's open this back up. We don't have the sun issue right at the moment. We don't have the sun issue right at the moment, so that's not really an issue right now, but last night it was 80 degrees, I think, when we parked, and I didn't miss not I had the air AC just cranked in here, and it was warm. And I ended up getting up and closing the curtains to see if it made a difference, and it really, really did. So somebody is just going to have to learn that she needs to try to stay where it's cool. You're going to worry me. You, you, you said I know what I'm doing. She says right now I'm going to sit up here and watch traffic until you decide it's time to feed me. I have not fed her yet. It's about 8 o'clock, so we're both hungry. I'm kind of tired. I had to take a stop and take a nap earlier today while I was driving because I just I was getting getting sleepy. I don't have that trouble usually, but I, why I did today, I, I thought I slept good last night. Oh, must have seen a bird. I'm not looking forward to hot, hot summer. Now, last summer, we you now last summer we didn't have an air conditioner at all. It, they could get it to work, and I might get it two or three days out of it. So I did spend all summer last summer with no AC in the truck. And we did fine. It was not comfortable, but we did fine. We put our window screens in the window. We turned on all the fans. Opened the windows. It was, it was tolerable. I was real particular about not stopping until it got dark and trying to park at the end of rows where I didn't have running trucks next to me and... Stuff like that, and, and it it wasn't comfortable, but it wasn't miserable. So, I don't know. It's comfortable back here so far. Now, when it gets... It, I don't know if it's going to be able to keep up during the day or stop somewhere all day. But we'll see. We'll work it out. If we have to, when we're stopped over the weekend somewhere, we'll just stay in hotels. That doesn't happen real often. All right, Miss Milo. You want your, want your dinner? Oh, dinner. Dinner sounds like the thing to do, huh? Well, come on back here and we'll get you some dinner.
pull this curtain open. Another thing with this curtain being closed is she loses her perch here to go across. Where are you? That's the wrong. That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side. You're behind that curtain. All right, Miss Milo. Can you say good night? Could you stop eating just long enough to say good night? Looks like we need to put some water in your bowl. Yeah, I think I see. There's a little water in there. It splashes out while we drive. Need to add some water. Um, your tag's hung on your bowl. <laughs> yeah, I've I've debated taking her collar off when she eats because we have tag issues. Yeah, we got some tag issues. She dunks it in her food. She catches it on her bowl. Goodness gracious, her was hungry. All right, Milo. Hey, you say good night. I'm gonna talk to you later. Yep. Good night, everybody. We'll talk to you again later. Won't you? Right now, I've got to. Got to stick her honey in our face. Because right now, I gotta finish eating. We'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>